Hey, what's up guys? When we bring a video into the timeline on the edit page, the video itself could look a little bit different than how it looks on the Fusion page. So for our example right here, our video has two black bars on the top and the bottom on the edit page, but when we move it to the Fusion page, it looks just fine. And the reason why this is happening is because on the edit page, all the videos have to conform to the timeline resolution, which in this case is 1920 by 1080. But our video itself has a resolution of 2048 by 1080. So when the width is squeezed, the height also has to be squeezed. Hence the reason why we're seeing the black bars. But when we bring our video here from the edit page to the Fusion page, the Fusion page actually directly processes this video from the media pool rather than the edit page. That's why we're seeing it in its original resolution because it doesn't have to conform to any timeline resolution. Now, because of this difference in terms of processing, on the edit page, when we make changes to our video here through the inspector panel, let's say we do a simple zoom in, and we won't be able to see this change displayed on the Fusion page. And very similarly, if we bring our video here uh, to the Fusion page, and once again, make a simple change, uh, let's say a, a zoom in, now we are going to see this change uh, on the edit page, but we're still seeing the black bars because at the end of the day, our video still has to conform to the timeline resolution on the edit page. So all of this can be just a little confusing to us users. So what can we do? Well, one simple quick fix is to simply come to the timeline resolution and then change it so that it's the same as the video's resolution. This way, what you see on the edit page is also going to be what you see on the Fusion page. But this may not be the best solution because, well, for one, there could be other videos in the same timeline. And also this won't really help to push changes that you make in the inspector panel to the Fusion page. So one other thing we can do, especially if you want to force changes that you make in the inspector panel to the Fusion page is to make the changes first in the inspector panel. So let's say we do a simple zoom in here and then uh, we turn our video clip into a compound clip. Now, what you see here on the edit page is going to be exactly the same on the Fusion page. Now, another thing we can do very similar to compound clip is to turn our clip here into a Fusion clip. So now if we take our Fusion clip to the Fusion page, you're gonna see that the videos look exactly the same on both pages. And when we make changes to our video here, let's say a simple zooming once again, and we bring it back to the edit page, we're not going to see the black bars anymore. The videos look exactly the same. In addition, we can also take advantage of adjustment clip. So for our clip here, let's bring in a adjustment clip on top of it. And now if we take our adjustment clip to the Fusion page, first of all, the videos look exactly the same. And on top of that, when we make changes to our adjustment clip here, uh, let's say once again, a simple zoom in, uh, it will ensure that the videos look exactly the same uh, on both pages. Now, if you want to force changes you make in the inspector panel, let's say we do a simple zoom in here into the Fusion page, all we need to do is just to bring adjustment clip once again on top of it and then take it to the Fusion page. This will make sure that whatever that we see on the edit page is going to be the same on the Fusion page. And lastly, one other thing we can do is to take our video here to the Fusion page and we are going to bring a resize node which can be located under transform. And here we're going to change the resolution to match the timeline resolution, which is 1920 in this case. So let's do that. And now what you see on the Fusion page is going to be exactly the same on the edit page as well. Now, one thing to note with this method is that changes we make in the inspector panel won't be forced into the Fusion page. So if this is what you wanna do, then this method unfortunately won't work. But if we come back to the Fusion page and make uh, simple changes like say a zooming once again, now this change is going to be directly reflected on the edit page. So I hope this video helps you guys understand how videos are processed differently on edit page and Fusion page and what we can do about it. And uh, I will see you next time.